In today's edition of Pantherology, we're going to be talking about Chris Sims and his most recent podcast that he came out saying that he believes in San Darnold can be a franchise quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. And let's just hope he's correct. But all in today's edition of Pantherology. Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. Guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Clay and I'm a Panthers YouTuber and you're watching Pantherology. Uh, I try to put out as much Panther content as humanly possible and also starting to put out more NFL takes as well. But for what for those that you don't know, one thing that you can do to support this channel is pound the out of that like button. I would love for you to subscribe to the channel, so pound that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts. Click that post notifications bell if you like what I put out there, so you don't miss out on any of the new videos. Um, also, check the description down below. There's my Instagram, um, obviously across the board here, my Instagram and my uh, Twitter. Uh, and if you're feeling generous, go check out the description down below. There's a nice, some nice little things you possibly could do for me, and it would help me out too. So, uh, also, guys, just collabed with a, new, a app out there called Newsbreak. Go check it out. It's great for local news, any kind of news around the United States, even worldwide. Also, go on there and follow me. I'll also be, be posting on there so you can see the posts on there as well. And it will update you when I post something on there. So go check out that app called Newsbreak. Alright, other than that, let's get into today's video. Now, as us Carolina Panther fans, if you did listen to Chris Sims' uh, podcast, I hope that Chris Sims is right about Sam Darnold. There is questions that remain whether or not Sam Darnold can still be a franchise quarterback in the NFL. And we all know how bad of a show he was in at the New York Jets. And now for the first time in his young career, he actually has an opportunity to actually be successful somewhere. Even wide receiver, as we all know, Robbie Anderson, you know, who was a former teammate with Darnold at the Jets, has noticed a difference in Sam Darnold during team's mini camp. And this is what he has to, had to say. And he said, when I walk in the building, I see like a new energy out of him, which in meaning Darnold, like a glow that I didn't really see in New York. I can view a difference in him so far. Anderson also said, I think the New York system was a little bit more complex and had a lot of nuances and things that had it more difficult for everybody, not just him, not just me. But I think this is a system is a little bit more grasp graspable. So with a less complex of an offense, a ton of weapons on the offense, there's no reason for me to believe that we should see Darnold set career highs across the board. I mean, as we know, as I'm about to talk about here, Chris Sims uh, said that basically spoke very highly of, of Sam Darnold. I mean, during his quarterback countdown, Sims went into a great detail as to why he believes Darnold can still be a very successful quarterback in the league. And this is what he had to say. He said, I'm excited about Sam Darnold. We're going to get answers about Sam Darnold this year. When I went back and watched him, there's still plenty to like. Let's not be unrealistic. What did he? we really expect from Sam Darnold in that offense? That's the thing I want to tell people that want to go, you have him at 19, which he had him ranked 19th out of his 100, like 40 quarterbacks or top 40 quarterbacks, top 50 quarterbacks or whatever. So did you, and then in quote, did you see their offense or their record last year? Okay, well, where did it go wrong? 
was it throwing to Braxton Berrios as your main target or throwing to Chris Hogan who is playing lacrosse and was your main target for a few weeks like come on if you're surrounded by you're going to look like so every now and then that is the problem with Sam Darnold that they which he was talking about New York never gave him support but Darnold to me still has all of the physical attributes to be a big time franchise quarterback I see it I don't care about the results and stats and wins I can see it he is awesome in the pocket he scrambles within the pocket which is rare it's almost like Big Ben back in his prime where he used to move where he used to just move around the pocket Sam Darnold has a little of everything to his football game we just haven't been able to see it because they don't see him he hasn't had he hasn't had that but you heard me say quick release phenomenal intermediate thrower i thought he got a better deep ball throwing last year i think he is really damn good in the pocket like really damn good he's tough he can throw under pressure now we're going to see some pieces around him to really prove my point at least that's what i hope we see because he was given no f***ing chance with the jets the last few years Sorry for the long quote, but I thought I should put it all in there, and I thought it'd be, I don't know. I really like what he said, so I wanted to tell you myself if you haven't seen it. It's really hard to argue with Sims. I mean, seriously. It would have been hard for even some of the very best quarterbacks in the league to go into that situation, I think, in in the New York Jets, and be able to be successful, let alone for a young quarterback to do it. Now, in Sims Top 40 NFL Countdown QBs, Darnold checks off at the number 19, which is four spots higher than what Sims rated him a year ago. So, guys, that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't watched the uh, video about Chris Sims, go watch it. It's very interesting. He has some very nice takes to say about Sam Darnold and the Carolina Panthers. So, go check it out. Uh, go check, like I said, check out that Newsbreak app and show your support, guys, by pounding the out of that like button, pound the subscribe button, comment down below, love to hear your thoughts, click that post notifications bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Go watch it, guys. I'd love for you to come back and comment and let me know what you think and about what he said, or if you just see enough from this video, comment down below, let me know. Panther Nation, Pantherologist, you know what to do. Keep pounding.